Connor, no, hot to everybody. Give me a for Connor and his awesome face. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this next comic told me to tell you he's been on laps on Fox. <laughs> and he also told me to tell you he's a favorite of Bob and Tom. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, America's favorite dirtbag. Give it up for Tim McLaughlin, everybody. Tim McLaughlin. Unbelievable, we're all here. What a Christmas. Hello, I'm Tim McLaughlin. I made $12,000 last year. I was talking to my accountant, he was like, You should not have an accountant. I like, yeah, that's true. I'll call you tomorrow, Dad. I don't know. I'm a loser. I don't know how to not be a loser, right? Like, I, because I can't make any money. I don't know how to not be a loser. Like, I think here's the best example. I, 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 I used to wrestle in high school. I was awful. I was eight and 110. That was my record. I was so bad that three times I was someone's 100th win. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that happen, but they make a real big deal about it. It sucks, right? You're sitting on the mat, they're handing a guy a plaque, right? You're sitting there with no plaque, right? And the thing about the plaque is, it never happened at a tournament where it was like a dude wrestling 12 matches in two days where you're like, oh, he's going to get the plaque. It was always one-on-one -on -one matches between me and the dude, where I think his coaches went online, saw my record, saw their dude's record, and they were like, all right, let's go ahead and get the plaque mate, right? Like, I was the get the plaque mate guy. Third time I remember the best. Dude's ranked 12th in state. We go to shake hands. He goes, good luck. And I was like, yeah. You're gonna need it. <laughs> and then he beat me in 20 seconds, right? So I stood up laughing. He's like, What are you laughing about? I handled you. And I was like, Yeah. But remember when you were all like, Good luck? And I was all like, hey, You're gonna need it? And then you beat the shit out of me? And he's like, Oh, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> You're funny. And then he let me hold his plaque. And my mom took a picture of me with him. So, I was doing that joke in Chicago. This happened in LaPorte, by the way. It happened in LaPorte, Indiana. I was doing that joke in Chicago. This woman goes, uh, I bet it was my brother. I go, listen to your brother, lady. She goes, I'm pretty sure it was my brother. I go, no. I was like, what? Okay, what years did your brother wrestle? She goes, from 2001 to 2005. I was like, all right, not a good start. I was like, what weight? She was like, 152 pounds. I was like, oh boy. All right, strike two. I was like, what's your brother's name? The question I should have started with. <laughs> she said, Tony Garza. I was like, are you kidding me? It was her brother. <laughs> you know how I know? Because if you look at the plaque that I'm holding, <laughs> and the picture my mom took, if you look closely, you can read the name Tony Garza on the plaque. So I asked her, I was like, how's your brother doing? Like, hopefully bad, because he's in the court, you know? I was like, heroin. Like, I was hoping heroin. So I was like, I hope he's addicted to heroin. So she was like, oh, he's great. He's a doctor, he's got three kids in a beautiful house. I was like, cool, I'm gonna go cut myself in my car. <laughs> and then I was like, hold on a second. Do you think that he let me have my mom take a picture of me with his wife and kids in front of the house. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that joke's done, let's get to it. Uh, I had to do that clean, I said shit, we figured it out. What are we doing? Uh, now we're doing comedy. I know Connor did his wrestling bit, now I did a wrestling bit, and everyone's like, oh, cool, he lives with Connor, he figured it out. Uh, <laughs> I'm single, I've been single for five months. I moved to New York, I'm single now. It sucks, moving to New York sucks. 
It, it, I mean, it's hard. I, I don't know what to do. Like, my, I don't have a room. I don't. I don't live in a room. I don't know if you guys. No one in Indianapolis understands what it's like, where people are like, "Hey, I have a room for you." New York room means something else. Because I was like, "Okay, cool." So they're like, "It's five hundred a month." I was like, "Tight." I have two walls. I have two real walls. One wall has all the fixtures for a washer and dryer, which I assume my roommates would want more than me, right? <laughs> the other room, the other room to the shitter. I can hear everyone shitting all night long. My other two walls, blankets. That's it. I'm not gonna fuck this year. I decided, I'm just not. I didn't decide, they didn't decide. Uh, and if I bring a woman back and she's like, oh, I'll fuck you down here. I'm like, no, you failed. This was a test. You failed the test. <laughs> I'm not gonna fuck you in here. What are you? Are you kidding me? You're gonna tell me I don't need to wear a condom either, which I won't. So <laughs> you make bad decisions. I'm gonna walk around riddled with disease. I, uh, I, used have, I used to have a hot ass girlfriend, dude. <laughs> Space. I said, dude, like I was talking to you, and you have no idea. I, uh, <laughs> you look like a Twitch streamer's assistant. I, uh, <laughs> I'm like, 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 I've been drinking since nine this morning. What are we doing? Uh, I need a clip to send to New York people, and I'm not doing it. Uh, I used to have a hot girlfriend. She, she was 25. She was hot. I got in. I'm 32. I made twelve thousand dollars last year. I don't know how to talk either. Like you've heard it. Uh, I had to look up what is it called when it's a painting of a person. I looked that up on Google. <laughs> It's a portrait, right? I had to look that up. I'm so dumb and poor, I'm surprised I don't have children. It's unreal. If you're not laughing, rethink your life. I don't know what's happening. I put my ear all the way back here. I got walk to it. Jesus, what is this? Yeah, I had a hot 25-year-old girlfriend. I was like, you should. She was stupid, and I, uh, she was like, she was like, she didn't, she, I was her learning curve, right, so I grabbed on, and I knew that, I was like, I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna hold on, right, so I hold on, and she was like, eventually, was like, oh, get the fuck out of here, and I was like, oh, no, you're smart now, it was a real bummer, like, the bottom line is I fucked her bad, and you can't be poor and also fuck back, right? <laughs> like, if you're a lady in here in your 20s, you have two options. Well, three options, I guess. You can have a poor guy that fucks you good, or a rich guy that fucks you bad, or you can get the best of both worlds, I guess. But I was fucking doubling down on bad on both, right? So she was like, oh, I guess I'll just get this poor guy that comes to me which is what I did. So, <laughs> I went so fast. Like, we would fuck, you know? We would fuck, and I'd, like, I'd be like, oh, you're so hot, and then I'd come. <laughs> so, this is what I would do, because i come so fast, I would eat her out first. That's what I would do. I'd eat her out first, so that she came, then in 20 seconds, I would come, <laughs> and that's feminism. So, I'm like having feminism mansplained to you right before Christmas. Right? So, uh, we were banging one night, and I was getting into it, you know? It was taking a little longer than usual. So I was dirty talking, I was like, you got a tight little pussy or whatever, you got to compliment women. <laughs> She wasn't saying much, I don't think she wanted to be there, but <laughs> she started getting into it. She was like, yeah. Give me that little dick. And I was like, what? what the fuck? She was like, I was following your lead. I was like, you go opposite. I say small and tight, you say how it doesn't fit or whatever. And then she started to pull my hair. And she just kind of pulled it, and a bunch came out of me. And I was like, fuck this, I'm done. I'd already come, but I was done anyway. And I'm good at comedy. I did a good job. I feel like there was a little hole in the middle where the women felt bad for my 
ex-girlfriend. She's my ex-girlfriend. I, uh... I gotta get out of here. You guys are wonderful. I'm pro-bullying. I don't think this room is full of pro-bullying. I think it's cool. I think bullying is cool. It makes you feel like a big man. You guys in here are sitting around not feeling like a big man. Go bully someone. You'll feel real good about yourself, right? So I used to bully in high school all, all the time because I was real bad at wrestling, right? So I had to do something to boost myself up. So I was awful. We, we, used, we also used to steal my buddy's dad's weed. I don't know if you guys did that. It's a real fun game. We'd steal my buddy's dad's weed. His dad would hide it somewhere else. We'd go find it. He'd hide it. It was a real fun game. I don't know if he was playing, but it was fun, right? So one day I'm in my buddy's dad's bedroom closet. I'm 17 years old. I'm getting real choked up thinking about this. I'm in my buddy's dad's closet. I'm looking for his weed. Instead of weed, I find this big dildo thing with all these cords attached to it. So where if you put it on, it like makes you look like you're rock climbing for dicks, right? So I've got dial-up internet. It takes me a while to figure out what it is. But I was like, ah, ah, ah! This is a strap-on. So I had to make fun of my battery. So I was like, your dad's dick's so small, he's got to wear this thing to bang your mom. <laughs> and I made fun of him for that every day for the rest of high school. But now I know, because I have much better internet, that that dude's mom was plowing his dad. Do you know how mad I am? I did not know that in high school. <laughs> Minimum, I could have gotten him to change school. <laughs> Maximum, kill himself. I'm too <laughs> <laughs>